Hey, what's up guys welcome to the code count uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to update this is the on um, Dell precision 7540 so here is my brand new SSD and my precision screwdriver so so this has 140 bits uh, and all required bits for PC repair first thing we need to remove the bottom case for this we need the Phillips screwdriver bit so here is my Phillips screwdriver bit and I need to unscrew all these screws on the bottom case remember these all screws not coming off so you need to be careful do not pull them or try them to take it out this will stay in the bottom case unscrew now I will use this uh, plastic remover tool to remove the bottom case remember do not use any metal uh, object for removing the bottom case because you you will may damage the board so we have removed the bottom case as you can see this support three m tools on the bottom some models support four and some models support five so this one supports only three m tools and this laptop has its workstation these are designed for uh, supporting 128 GB of RAM. So don't be surprised like there is no RAM in the bag because uh, two modules of RAM are underneath the keyboard. For that, you need to remove the keyboard first. And whenever you want to remove the motherboard for this laptop, so you need to remove the keyboard and there are some connectors underneath the keyboard. You need to remove the them first then after that you will start removing the motherboard so first thing first you need to remove the battery so here is the battery connector just pull it like this so the battery is disconnected and i will be using one of these sla uh, slots to put the new ssd in so this is my brand new ssd this is the team group so this is a little cheap but still Generation 3 So this is a 1 terabyte M M.2 NVMe SSD and this one comes with a 5 years warranty so this is good Now I want put it in the slide so I need to unscrew the screw here and the good thing this one has heat things uh, heatsink on it so you need to remove this plastic but not use it because I need this heat sink to stick on top of the NVMe -NV to in order to keep it cool so first thing we need to remove the screw and I need to put it back so I need to slide in the SSD and push it in as you can see there's a notch here so you need to uh, keep in mind that it's in the right place I will screw it in back And this will hold the SSD in place. And I need to screw it in this. As you can see, I stick to the SSD, and this uh, will keep the SSD cool.
we done installing the SSD now we need to reconnect the battery and check the PC if it's still working or not so, remember when you're closing back the bottom case you need to slide it in first from the front and this on the back so we are not closing no screws except the middle one so we are doing this to hold the bottom case now we are checking like just in case if it's not turning on or something went wrong so we can reopen the bottom case and we don't have to redo the all screws and we'll plug the pc in As you can see there is an indicator this light will tell you if something runs so this will give you different uh, codes like it will flash yellowish or amber and it contains different codes like if it flash two times or three times it means different th things and you need to go to the manual and you will find all the codes for this light so as long as it's not yellow it's mean it's fine so we need to write sometimes it takes a little while to reboot after disconnecting the battery so this pc didn't have any m.2 installed before so this brand new ssd need to be reimaged and i will show you how to reinstall windows on the brand new ssd so I already have my installation media booted and this uh, USB drive so all I need to do is plug it to one of the USB ports and I will not run the diagnostics right now because I want to do the windows first press on F12 I will show you how to run diagnostics on Dell PCs in a separated video. Keep pressing on F12 as long as uh, when you see the boot menu. So as you can see it says preparing on time boot menu. So you need to keep waiting for it. Yeah. From here you need to select your uh, installation media. Click on the USB because we are installing the windows from the usb so we, we need to click on the usb uh, if you want to install windows from a network interface so you need to click on the nic or if you have a mounted uh, dvd drive so you, you can click on the drive and now click on uh, install click on accept next click on custom install as you can see here is our brand new ssd one terabyte and just click on next this will install the windows and it will take some time it's like probably five minutes to do all the process as you can see it's done installing the windows on the drive it will restart many times during this uh, process so you need to be patient So Windows is started services. 
So this is the Windows installation process and you need to keep waiting. There's nothing you can do. And this is this will take uh, not much time. So nowadays we use in that too, so it's really fast and quick. Um, this PC has a really good processor though, like it's uh, Intel i7 9 chain and it's a 6 core and uh, 12 logical processors. So these laptops are designed to, to be workstations and these are designed to be handled heavy loads. You can, you can do server work on it, you can do 3D rendering because these laptops come with the Build in dedicated uh, dedicated graphics or GPU. Uh, we are not going to wait for this process. As uh, you can see, the Windows has finished the installation. So, in this process, you need to create a user account. So I so the way I have made this bootable USB. Uh, I set up the user account on you know, the process of making this bootable USB using Rofos. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, uh, please leave a comment so I will make a separate video on how to make a pre-made uh, local user account on Windows 11 uh, installation media. Click on yes. Yes, and skip. Uh, you can connect to Wi-Fi and create a uh, login like your Microsoft account. But as I told you, I have already set up an account, and this will not require any account creation in this process. As you can see, they didn't ask me any info for the account creation. So we have successfully installed the. Windows 11 on our brand new SSD so that's how you install Windows so that's how you upgrade and install Windows on brand new M.2 and Dell Precision 75 fully laptop so this will take a little while so this is a one time process when you restart the PC, it will not take that much time. It will be fast. So this is how you upgrade the SSD inside the Precision Workstation and install Windows 11 on brand new SSD. As you can see, it have done in installing Windows 11. And now it's the time you need to close the bottom case and that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching